Greetings, Earthlings. I'm back to spit on the floor with ten more. Here's ten commanders that make me want to eat a Tide Pod. Starting off this steaming list, we've got Light Paws Emperor's Voice. What I can only describe as playing against Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man, because anyone who plays this commander clearly hates change to the point where they bash their head off the wall if someone moved the fridge. A commander so tedious and repetitive that it's only truly comparable to your new girlfriend's kid telling you about the dead bird he found for the 50th time, except that bird was your pet and he's waving its coagulating corpse in your face. With about as much originality as a Green Day cover band, the ire that this pretend just ditch mutt draws within me is enough to make me want to jump into shark infested waters and hope that they adopt me as one of their own so I can either drown or just never have to see or hear the word light ever again. If you play this as your commander, it would be get a pebble in your socks. Next we've got Chulane or Hullen, Teller of Tales. This mollied up storytelling hippie only wants to accomplish one thing, to make you rip your hair out so he can make it into a voodoo doll to throw at a pissed off grizzly bear. The multiple ways at which this commander is meant to fuck you sideways is enough to put Johnny Sins out of business. It's enough to make your girlfriend want to leave you because even if your dick game is on par with a demigod, the rate at which he can work it, put his thing down, flip it, and reverse it is enough to make anyone want to jump ship and move to the middle of Antarctica. Bant, and by proxy, Selesnia Dex, already have a bad enough habit of making you wish you didn't eat plants, because clearly nature has it out for you, and the blue is just there to flip you off as someone's eucalyptus plant is bitch slaps you so hard that you can taste sounds. If you play this as your commander, I hope your favorite band or artist never tours in your country. Next we've got a double header, Pure Imaginative Rascal, and Toothy Imaginary Friend. This little shit with the imagination of H.P. Lovecraft and Dr. Seuss, mashed together like Jeff Goldblum in The Fly, subjects you to endless torment because the only thing imaginative about this type of deck is the commander itself. You know, cause it's in the name. The lack of imagination that goes into a deck like this is like walking into a child's fever dream of rainbows and Five Nights at Freddy's. The only thing growing, aside from the lockjaw hell spawn, whenever you want to do anything, is the amplifying rage of having to be stuck at dinner with your racist grandparents who feed you nothing but beets and evaporated milk. If you play this as your commander, I hope your favorite TV show gets cancelled. Next we got Shieldred the Apocalypse. How to make the whole table hate you in one fell swoop. How to say, I want to play Nekusar without committing to more than one color without saying it. Playing against this insectified cock rocket is like walking into your house to find your couch flipped, your cat on fire, your fridge ransacked while a hobo is hanging from your ceiling, eating all your fruit gushers, all because they thought you had an ecstasy pill on your coffee table, but it turned out to be a piece of drywall, so now they want to make your life hell. It's like carrying a plate of hot spaghetti up to your room, but tripping up the stairs because you forgot you had toast. So now, not only do you not get to eat, but Eric, now you're covered in burning noodles, looking like something out of a Pokemon ROM hack. The ire that this horrendous Death Eater draws with Emmy is enough to make me want to just jump head first into someone's algae infested pool, because ingesting bog water is more pleasant than having to look this thing in the face. If you play this as your commander, I hope you get hair in your eye. Next we got Grand Arbiter Augustine IV. If your favorite thing to do in a day is paying taxes, then boy do I have a commander for you. This glorified crook wants nothing more than to squeeze every bit of juice out of you like a blizzard executive. Augustine players are the epitome of kids who grew up with no friends because their parents told them everyone was jealous of them. Playing against this douchebag is the equivalent of jury duty on your favorite relative's birthday. So instead of actually enjoying yourself and celebrating someone you also enjoy, you get to sit and decide whether someone goes to jail or not, only for it to then result in your decision meaning nothing, and the most exciting thing to happen is the maximum security guard accidentally sets off his pepper spray and burns his leg. If you play this as your commander, I hope you clip your nails too short. Next we got Gaddock Teague. Do you like doing, I don't know, anything? Psych? This little wrinkled ball sack of a commander hates fun so much that he'd rather watch paint dry than do anything else. Most Selesnya decks have a habit of punching you in the appendix until you're coughing up your own liver, but this asshole wants nothing more than to have everyone sitting around picking their noses and flicking all the snot into a pile to form the world's grossest snowman. If you've ever faced against this piece of shit, then you'll understand the groaning pain of having to wait for your mom to stop talking to her friend in the grocery store, but said friend also spends her day at the lottery till because she'd rather feel the rush of diet gambling 
gambling than having to be around her family for a fragment of a second. I have flat out walked away from tables where people have pulled this thing out because I'd rather bungee jump off of a skyscraper attached to a piece of used dental floss than to subject myself to this children's show villain. If you play this as your commander, I hope you get a sliver under your fingernail. Next we got Raghavan Nimble Pilferer. The modern day version of started from the bottom and now we're here, even though just like the reference, this card's bottom was just playing second fiddle to someone better. This commander is the epitome of someone who talks a big game but finishes in two pumps. Facing against this shit swiping Mesopithecus is like your friend asking you to dog sit for them except their dog is a goat and the entire time it's sitting there trying to eat your pants. It's like walking into a store to buy a new toilet but each one already has mammoth sized shits in them. The rate at which this little jerk off monster can get out of hand is only comparable to someone waking you up by judo kicking you in the nuts and then spinning in your eyes so you're left hobbling around like a pissed off pirate. If you play this as your commander, I hope your girlfriend asks you if you'd still love her as a worm. Next we got the first sliver. The epitome of do I win now or do I make you suffer first? Facing against this featureless nightmare is like making your debut in the WWE against Brock Lesnar. If you've ever watched nature channels where predators stalk their prey, then you know what facing against this modernized warmonger feels like. Sliver decks already have a bad enough habit of throwing so much shit at you at a rate that feels like being hit by a train full of cheetahs, but it's made even worse when they could birth out so many to the point where it makes you question how much it would cost to invest in sliver birth control. If you play this as your commander, I hope your next fart is wet. Next we've got Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. What does your deck and a will to live have in common? Being subjected to this pasty dominatrix will leave both feeling emptier than the Grand Canyon or my field of fucks after I discovered someone ate the last ice cream bar out of the freezer. Mill decks are one thing, but this monstrous hell spawn makes them gone so fast that they end up on the back of a milk carton. Having everything you spent money on be erased in such rapid succession is like partying with your friends, only you're bone sober and crying in the corner. The ire that this and any of the other Del Drazi draw within me is enough to consider taking a bath with a toaster. It's enough to make me want to walk into a store and scream at an unfortunate receptionist over something that's not their problem like a scorned Karen. If you play this as your commander, I hope you touch leftover food in the sink while hand washing dishes. And then finally for this time we got Kali of the Vast. Much like a person who had an emo phase that they never grew out of, Kalia is the perfect example of why you shouldn't let your kids lick 9 volt batteries. The rate at which this aesthetic goth adult can shit out demons is enough to make you believe in Santa Claus, only for his jolly bearded face to warp into an eldritch winged anal probe, because before you could even say, I bet you listen to Marilyn Manson, you've had 20 new assholes and 37 kinds of shit eradicated out of you. And that's not even the worst part when, just as quickly, she's throwing dragons and angels at you in one fell swing to the point where you feel like you're tripping balls, but the reality is that you pissed off heaven, hell, and ancient mythology all in one flick of your wrist because you decided that killing an ant was a good idea that day. If you play this as your commander, I hope your form charger falls out while it's charging. Alright, if you like this list, leave a like and subscribe. This is uh, part three to this thing. I don't have to say that I'm going to be doing these because I, yeah, I think that goes without saying. And uh, yeah, I wish you all farewell and misfortune.